When I lived in Medellin for four months, I was using a wallet that I quite liked. But then one day, a local came up to me and told me that my wallet was too risky for Colombia, as it advertised the cash and the cards that I was carrying. This got me thinking about what makes the best wallet, not only for travel, but in everyday life. So to find the answer to my question, I spent the last three years testing out different types and brands so I could find the ultimate EDC wallet. And the best part of this video is that each of these wallets that we're gonna talk about has their own in-depth review, which you can find in the description below. Real fast, let's talk about wallet theory. In my opinion, for a wallet to be great, there's four things that you have to take into consideration. First up, the size of the wallet. This refers to the actual dimensions. Also, what size bills does it fit? Does it fit your currency? Euros, USD, doubloons. Number two is the ease and satisfaction of use. How easy is it to grab your cash and your cards? And on the flip side, how easy is it to put them back? And just from a satisfaction perspective, what does it feel like when you're using and interacting with your wallet? Number three, durability. What materials is the wallet made out of and how long is the wallet gonna last? And number four is security. How secure is your cash and cards? And is the wallet a bit of a thief magnet? Okay, let's look at the 10 best EDC wallets on the market. Number one is the Bellroy Note. The Note is a bifold wallet made from Wallet Goliath's Bellroy. It's got a cash compartment, coin pocket, one, two, three card slots, and a pull tab. It holds up to 11 cards and comes in multiple color options. These are the dimensions. It's super thin and lightweight and made all that more comfortable by the super soft leather material. Use. We've got super high quality leather and multiple features while still being minimalist, which overall just gives it a very simple and satisfying user experience. Grabbing your cards is made a little bit simpler with these little cuts in the card pockets. And since it's a bifold wallet, it means that the bills don't have to be folded. They can just go in the wallet as such, making it easier to take them out and to put them back. Durability. Top notch leather, which by default will get a little bit of abuse and wear and tear over time. And the stitching is pretty solid, but we have seen a bit of fraying over the years. Security. The bills are concealed and secure. Same thing with the cards, especially when the wallet is shut. And the wallet doesn't scream, I'm rich, but it's also a nice wallet that doesn't look cheap at the end of the day. Overall, the Bellroy Note is an ideal wallet if you're looking for a bifold wallet that is seamless and light. To learn more about the Bellroy Note and the Bellroy Slim, it's very closely related, but some important differences like cousin. To learn more about both these wallets, take a look in the description below for a link to our full review. All right, number two wallet on our list is the Distill Union Bifold 5.0. This wallet puts a bit of a modern touch on the Bifold wallet with an emphasis on access and ease of use. It's got a metal cash clip, two pull tabs for cards, two regular card pockets, and one, two, three magnetic closures that help give the wallet an extra sense of security and just awesomeness. Magnets feel good. Overall, it can hold up to 14 cards, 30 bills, and comes in four color options. These are the dimensions. Due to the metal money clip, the bottom has a little bit of an extra bulk to it, not much, but noticeable. But overall, it does maintain a fairly slim profile, which makes it comfortable for pocket carry. As for the size of currency, this wallet is designed for North American and Australian currency, which is why my fat Hong Kong bills sort of stick out of the edge. So keep that in mind, depending on what currency you use. Use. I'm a big fan of the money clip as it allows you to easily take your cash out and to put it back in with relative ease. It just kind of feels cool. The durable leather feels great to the touch, but it's also quite smooth, which makes it super easy to sort of put it in your pocket and take it out. Love the color coordination of the pull tabs, red on one side, black on the other, and pulling your cards out is super easy, but putting them back in can be a bit of a hassle. And the magnetic closure feels great every time you use the wallet. Durability. Distill Union uses high quality materials, including rich full grain leather and a stainless steel money clip. The nylon material used for the pull tab seems kind of basic and average, but I think it'll last the test of time. Security. 
Making sure your bills fit, in my opinion, is crucial and makes this less likely to be an ideal travel wallet. I would say though, it doesn't give off a super I'm rich vibe. And the magnets help keep your cash and cards super extra safe and secure in the wallet. Like cards aren't gonna go flying out anytime soon. Overall, the Distill Union Wally Bifold 5.0 is a great wallet if you're looking for something that's fun to use and well engineered. If you're interested in learning more about the Distill Union Wally Bifold 5.0 or any of Distill Union's other awesome wallets, like this really cool modular wallet, which I'm not going to get into right now, but you can learn all about the Distill Union wallets in the description below. You'll find a link to our full comparison video. Wallet number three is the Peak Design Slim Wallet. The first phone wallet hybrid on our list, the Peak Design Slim Wallet is a part of Peak Design's epic mobile modular ecosystem. It can be carried individually as a regular small wallet, or it can be clipped securely to the back of your phone. Now it's important to note for it to stick to the back of your phone, you will need like a mod wallet, like a recent Apple or iPhone. But to get the full experience, this, this connection is strong, but really it's the, like when it, you get the mobile phone case, this connection is, is crazy strong. And also the phone case will offer extra protection to your phone, um, more so than I'd say like a cheap phone case. This thing is very well engineered. Peak design, they just make high quality gear. The wallet is as basic as it gets. It's a single pull tab that can hold up to seven cards or a combo of cards and cash. Size. These are the dimensions. Overall, because of the magnet on the back, it's not super soft, but it's also one of the smallest wallets I've ever reviewed, which when you're carrying it in your pocket sort of helps negate that hardness of the, ma of the magnet. Use. Due to its simplicity, it's probably the easiest wallet ever to use. And one cool thing, notice on the Distill Union Wally Bifold 5.0, we got these pull tabs, right? And they're super thin and it looks good, but it actually makes it difficult to kind of pull the cards out and put them back in. It's just a little wobbly, not, doesn't feel very secure sometimes. But Peak Design with their pull tab, they made it the full width basically of the wallet, which as you're putting the cards back and lifting the tab up to grab the cards, it just makes it a more seamless sort of experience. It just, it just feels a lot cleaner. And the magnetic closure gives it a very satisfying and secure snap. And any cash that you keep in this wallet needs to be folded, which sort of adds extra steps, which some people hate. It's just something to sort of keep in mind. Durability. The Peak Design Slim Wallet has a really interesting and unique, like scratchy, clothy material, which alongside that metal magnet plate on the back makes the wallet overall feel very durable. And there's no stitching to worry about. The fabric is either molded or glued for what in my opinion seems to be a very secure connection. Speaking of security, your cash and cards went in the wallet, they're safe. If you carry a few bills, you're gonna have to take all the bills out, right? So if you just need like $1, but you got this wad of cash, you gotta take everything out, which might draw a bit of attention to you as you're finagling, oh, here's this. And you know, you're exposing all the cash that you have. Overall, the Peak Design Slim Wallet is an ideal choice if you like the idea of a wallet that can attach to your phone and also attach to a modular ecosystem of other interesting products. To learn more about the Peak Design Slim Wallet, as well as some of the other modular components, like you got the Stand Wallet, you've got the Peak Design Mobile Tripod, it's all a part of the ecosystem. We did a review on all of these things, which you can find in the description below. Wallet number four is the Nomadic Wallet. The most affordable wallet on our list. The Nomadic Wallet is for you if you want just a modern, no fuss wallet that simply just gets the job done. We've got a pull tab compartment which can fit up to 14 cards and a small hidden cash pocket which is also conveniently key sized if you wanna hide a key in there as well. These are the dimensions. Overall, this wallet can feel a bit bulky, but that's really just because the cards are exposed, right? So you're getting this sort of hard cards that are interacting with your leg region, which is good because you get extra simplicity, but it might feel like a small brick in your front pocket from time to time, especially if you carry more cards in the wallet. Use. The Nomadic Wallet uses medical grade elastic, and this material just makes it really easy to put cards in the wallet, get them out of the wallet. Same thing with your cash and a key. It's just a really stretchy, useful, durable material. 
Similar to the Peak Design wallet, the base of the pull tab is on the thicker side, which makes it easier to access your cards as well as to stow them back away. And the cash compartment is simple, but I guess it gets the job done. Durability. While this is absolutely the cheapest wallet on our list, I've personally used this wallet on and off for about four years, and I can say it lasts the test of time. One thing to note though, with the elastic material, if you put a lot of cards in here, it's going to like loosen it up and then it makes carrying fewer cards much less secure. For instance, I've kept like 20 cards in here for a while, just as like a storage in my living room. And then now when I carry three cards, they slip out immediately because I've, I've stretched it past the point of return. Now, I want to be very clear, this didn't happen when I was just using it for a handful of cards for years. It wasn't until I sort of just popped 30, 20 to 30 cards in there and kept it in a desk for like a year. It sort of makes sense. So that is one very important thing to take into consideration about this medical grade elastic material. Security. This is the wallet that I was talking about that I was using in Colombia. I was told that it's too loud, too aggressive. You know, you got the cash poking out right here. You've got the cards and the quantity of cards very well displayed, which is something to take into consideration with this wallet. If you are looking for a wallet that is simple, affordable, and efficient, you should go navigate on down to the description of this video where you can find a link to our full review of the Nomatic wallet. Wallet number five is the Exter wallet. Possibly the most innovative wallet on our list. The Exter wallet is a modern bifold wallet with some pretty interesting features. It's got a back compartment, two interior card compartments, a cash clip, and a one of a kind trigger system. The entire wallet is made with high quality leather. It fits up to 12 cards and is offered in multiple color options. Size. These are the dimensions. Overall, due to the space grade aluminum for that trigger system inside the wallet, this wallet is just undeniably bulky and on the heavier side. Especially if you're going to add the Chipolo tracker on top of it, this just adds more to the bulk, throw some cash in there, cards. That's a bulky wallet. Use. The trigger system on the extra wallet is undeniably satisfying and cool to use. And it allows you to access your cards with a single movement and without ever actually opening your wallet. You just, you just do one of those. But having said that, sometimes I do think it's a bit extra. The high quality leather feels very satisfying. And you can just tell that a lot of thought went into the design of this wallet. It's very well engineered. Durability. Really impressive and clean stitching. There has been some chatter online about the trigger system breaking or not working over time. But I've been using this wallet pretty extensively and I cannot report anything like that on my end. It's been working perfectly every single time. Security. You will need to be careful with the trigger system. If you put in a bit too much wrist, that can happen. Having said that, that was obviously a very intentional and dramatic movement. I mean, if you're just pulling the trigger, even with a lot of extra oomph, your cards aren't gonna go anywhere. But the shake test, be careful of that. Obviously, that was a rigorous shaking. You're probably not gonna be doing that with your wallet too often, but it does show that the cards can be a little bit more vulnerable than they would in other wallets. And also, this is probably the most expensive looking wallet on this list, maybe tied with the Frenchie, but also because of that trigger system, right? If, you know, if you're in a theft prone area and someone sees that, that's gonna draw attention. So with the security, that's something to keep in mind. If you wanna learn more about the fascinating extra wallet, be sure to check the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. Okay, wallet number six is the Frenchie Co. Speed Wallet Mini. In my opinion, the Frenchie Co. Speed Wallet Mini is the sexiest wallet on this list. It's a tri-fold leather wallet with a very sexy magnetic closure. It can fit up to 12 cards and 15 bills, and it comes in multiple color options, sizes, and an AirTag version. Size. These are the dimensions. Because it's a tri-fold wallet, it's going to be slightly bulkier than perhaps a bi-fold wallet, right? Not that extra fold. But the good news is this wallet actually fits all bills, no matter the currency, which makes it a really great travel wallet. Use. 
One of the more enjoyable experiences to take cards and cash out, the tri-fold build plus the high quality leather is just a joy to interact with. And that magnetic closure, it's just its just solid. It's, it's a nice little, there's different types of magnetic clicks and this one is just, that's a good magnetic click. You know what I'm talking about. But while taking cash out is super simple, putting it back in requires a little bit more finagling. You gotta open the wallet up. Just kind of make sure that this one third of the bill is tucked behind there. It's not the end of the world, but it does require a little extra TLC. And one more awesome thing is to access your cards, you don't need to open the wallet. You can just use the pull tab right here and your cards are immediately accessible. Durability. Beautiful leather, high quality stitching. I am not worried about this wallet falling apart anytime soon. Security. The ability to access your cards and to grab the cash without having to open the wallet in its entirety helps to give a little extra stealth mode with this wallet. But because it's the best looking wallet on this list, it might be a little bit of an attention grabber. Those little subtle things like this leather with the with the brown leather hint right there. I mean, that's just really sexy and it just, it just looks super nice. And one also thing to note is when it comes to the security of your cards, as long as the wallet is full, these cards are fine. They're not going anywhere. But if you only carry a single card, it is significantly more likely to slide out. Five to six cards though, and you'll be more than fine. To learn more about the super sexy Frenchico Speed Wallet Mini, navigate yonder down to the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. Wallet number seven, the Bellroy phone case three card. Our second Bellroy wallet on this list. This is ideal for you if you're looking for a phone wallet hybrid that will not detach. The advantage of this is it's going to be less bulky than a phone wallet that detaches, right? So here's the peak design and here's the Bellroy detachable, non-detachable, bulkier, bulky, but less bulky in comparison. It can fit three embossed cards very tightly but I prefer to use it for one non-embossed card, one embossed card, and one very tightly folded bill. These are the dimensions with the iPhone 13. And it should be noted that even though it's a phone case, it's still going to be bulkier than a traditional phone case to make space for those three extra cards. Use. The ridge on the side of the wallet makes it super easy to open and access your cards. The microfiber lining feels just really nice against your thumb as you're holding this compartment open. And the strong magnetic closure feels great. And the leather on the exterior of the phone case just gives an extra touch of premiumness. Durability. As you can see, I used the crap out of this and the leather got beat up, especially along the corners. And this is only after like six months of use. To me, it doesn't really bother me. But if you want your phone to keep that premium look along with the premium feel, then I would recommend maybe getting the black case as opposed to a colored case. Aside from that, these materials, like everything that Bellroy makes, should stand the test of time. Security. I personally think that having my cards connected to my phone makes me less likely to lose either but I can totally see why somebody would think the opposite. If you want to learn more about the Bellroy Phone Case 3 card, head on down to the description and you can find a link to our full review. Okay, wallet number eight is going to be the Axwell wallet. Coming in in copper or aluminum, this is a manly wallet for someone who likes their gear to be durable and very heavy. This wallet is made of a money clip on the outside and are connected via that elastic right there, which is where you hold your cards. Almost lost a finger. It holds up to 12 cards in the middle and you can mix and match the colors. So I got the orange and the copper and let's say I want a copper orange. Just do a little switcheroo. Copper on one side, orange on the other. Badass. These are the dimensions and it just should be obvious that this wallet is really heavy. I mean, it's got the two plates, right? And each plate is the width of at least two to three credit cards by itself. But that's offset by the satisfaction of how it feels and the durability, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Use. 
So cash, pretty simple to grab, right? And pretty easy to put back. It's like any money clip. But the cards takes a bit more finagling or at least learning how to do it. To put the cards in, you sort of split the two plates and slide them right in. Easy peasy. But taking the cards out not as seamless, it's fine if like, hey, I need my first card. That one's easy to grab. But if you need a middle card, then it's a little bit more, it's like one of these mixed with like one of the, like, oh, I got it, you know? But I will say the more you play with it, the easier it gets. And just one other note on the use, if you're the fidgety type and you like to just fidget with uh, taking these metal plates off and clicking them back into place, it doesn't suck. And there's also the option to add on different modular components, including a coin slash key tray and a multi-tool. Durability. With all the baggage that comes with the heaviness of this wallet, one of the last things you have to worry about is the durability. Along with the manly lifestyle element, the durability of this wallet is probably its biggest selling point. Security. Cash and cards are pretty exposed, but the good news is that unlike other wallets on this list, it's so freaking heavy that it can be used as a weapon, which probably has to give it some extra points for security. And also with security, you gotta consider your cards. Putting the cards in this way might damage cards that have chips on the outside over time. So just be careful with that and just kind of something to be aware of. If you dig the idea of a wallet that is durable and manly, check out our full review of this or the German crafted aviator wallet. Both links you can find in the description below. Wallet number nine is the Harbor London card wallet. Possibly the slimmest wallet on our list. This card wallet is made with full grain leather and features a magnetic closure, which in my opinion is quite welcome on a bifold wallet. There are one, two, three, four card slots, one pull tab, and another compartment here which although this is a card wallet, I think is an ideal location for some spare cash. Harbor London currently offers this wallet in seven different color options. Size. These are the dimensions. Incredibly thin and soft, even with the magnets, it just feels really nice. Use. The leather doesn't mess around. Very high end look and feel. And that magnetic closure just gives it a little extra boost of endorphins when using it. Ooh, feel that? And also to be noted, the magnetic closure just gives the wallet a little extra tidiness to it, right? Now the slimness of the wallet can make the card slots a little tight, but as with all things leather, the longer you use it, the more it will sort of evolve to fit your specific needs. Durability. Leather like this will certainly gain some character over time, but it should last for years upon years, especially with this quality stitch work. Security. The wallet looks nice, but it has a subtlety to it as well that sort of helps to keep it under the radar. All cards and cash are kept hidden inside the wallet and the magnetic closure keeps the wallet closed when it's not meant to be opened. Overall, it's a fairly simple yet elegant wallet that has a great user experience. To learn more about the London Harbor card wallet, check the description below. And finally, this one's for all you air taggers out there, the Geometric Goods Air Tag Leather Wallet. Sort of looks like an old school dad wallet, right? It's pretty thick and bulky, but that's by design because this wallet is intended to securely store, house, and protect your precious AirTag tracker. It's made of premium full grain vegetable tanned Italian leather and can fit up to seven cards. And quite cool, you also have some elements of personalization. You can customize which rivets you want to use for the AirTag storage area and you can get a custom engraving at no additional cost plus you got like 10 different color options that are available so you can really customize this to make it your own these are the dimensions since it's a bifold it's very important to know what size currency it fits now on the website it says it only fits usd and euro but my hong kong bills fit in there just fine use the diagonal cut of the card pocket makes it a little bit easier to grab and put away your credit cards. And the pull tab is made out of full leather, the entire thing. A lot of times these wallets will be nylon pull tabs. They went full leather, which gives it a little bit smoother of an opening and closing experience. Durability. This leather feels very tough. The leather is tough. The stitching is impressive. It feels like it should stand the test of time. Security. Really, it works like a traditional wallet, but the biggest selling point is the AirTag security system. Let's talk about it. It's secured in place by these two screws, 
And the thing is, you need to undo both of them to actually access the AirTag. All of this just gives you a little extra security and buys you some extra time in case you lose your wallet or in a worst case scenario, it is thefted from you. Then a thief has got to open it up, get a card, unscrew one, unscrew both, open up. You know, it's just about buying yourself some time for that little extra security. And you can see right there, the actual holder for the AirTag, got some wood in there, it's super durable. Your AirTag's gonna be safe. It's not gonna get crushed when you sit on it. Further secured in place by this leather tab, put that right there, screw it back in, bada bing, bada boom. If your AirTag's security is of the utmost importance to you and you like the idea of being able to customize your own really nice leather wallet, then take a look in the description to learn more about the Geometric Goods AirTag Leather Wallet. We hope you enjoyed our roundup of the best EDC wallets on the planet. If you enjoyed this review, but you're still not 100% sure which wallet you should go with, then I recommend watching the next video. That video will show you which wallet I'm personally using in my day to day and why I think it's the best EDC wallet. My name's Aaron, this is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.